Long time I don't go live on that phone. Yeah. I mean playing no games every word that I say, girl I meant from the heart. So if you're trying to play with these arms, I'ma leave the door open. I'ma leave the door up. Dirty people on the backs. On the see me outside. I'm bad mind me. But all you can do is bad mind me. You can't stop me. Good morning. You don't know. I'm dead about you. Inside and about you. So a long time I'm not going to live. You know, during the week. So I say I come out. Then. I don't know more time. Too, too much things are going here for just love everybody for just do them something and then you just come out and do your something. Don't follow the crowd. But when you follow the crowd, you know the thing go. Sometimes you have to make the crowd stay about business. Boy. Yesterday. Let's see our video. Where a lady post and say boy. She tell her 15 year old daughter says she ungrateful. And when she tell her says she ungrateful, she explained to her, say, boy, her pitney is more less fortunate than she because she have a roof over her head. She get taken care of food and clothes and everything. The little girl response was to her that you had a choice because you're supposed to take care of your responsibility. So if you never wanted to take care of your responsibility, you should have had an abortion. Dash me away. And don't make me come out. Instead of now you're going to come complain. Now, conversation like them here is kind of touchy. And when I say touchy, it's very touchy because they don't know most of the time, the youth them get rowdy because they want to do certain things and them can't get to do what they want to do because they have to answer or be reprimanded by them parents. Seeing the parent have a duty to do. Everything what the parents say, she's right about shelter, clothes and privilege what kids get. The child have a point also but you have to have dialogue nowadays with the youth them not because of you have give the youth the clothes and the shoes and everything them have to adhere to everything where you say and I'm tired to tell people this all the while so you have to know when to be a youth friend and when to be a parent to your youth and for your youth because sometimes the youth them need a friend. They don't need a father or they don't need a mother. At the time of how, of how them feeling, they need a friend. They're going to always need them dad and their moms. You understand? So you have to pick and choose how you relate to conversation. Because sometimes the youth won't come to you with two certain things. Like for instance, them boyfriend or them girlfriend or whatever. You have to just remember, say, you dash your parenting part over one part, right? So just lock it off and be a friend now, be a listening ear. Because soft and turn it away, wrath and grievous words store up anger. Because the child might go say some things, and when them say some things, your becks 
and go into your feelings because you don't want to hear say your daughter have no boyfriend and you don't want to hear say your son has said certain things, you know what I mean? But the fact still remain, it's better them come to you more than go to strangers because remember, you know, the advice a stranger would have give them and you should have give them and sometimes a stranger would have tell them, say, I want to know business about parents, I want bag a thing. And what we must understand that we were all once teenagers. Nowadays teenagers or nowadays young adults is not like when we were just turning young adults. When I was turning a young adult, I told Pitney me have. And I feel take care of responsibility. Woman I'm Pitney. You know what I mean? Young adults nowadays them have enough of them have got through that. Some of them have three Pitney and four Pitney, while some of them have a mindset with them so them not get no youth until them put them foot firm in our earth and they can stand up on them own Zin? so I see the video and I post the video and a whole heap of people say they look at me ungrateful and a whole heap of people say the little girl is right the two of them is right there is no wrong and no right how she expressed back herself to her mother was 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 the way when I would have said boy probably how it come off because the truth never come off nice the truth never come off nice it the truth is gonna always be an offense. See? Maria, the truth is going to always be an offense. Now, show me tell the truth enough time. My little jacket daughter, Bex, show me tell her the truth. Say so she not ready. Reason. See her the people. Stop, no, Jesus. You're done. Stop. Where you hide your face? I ask, you're where you hide your face? Your... What you mean on your life? You're in it. What you feel like? You're in it. Show your little stay bad self. Guys, you're in shop it. for AB Designs. I'm not telling, no, me never tell if you promote nothing for my page. That's how you Look man. Just... I'm not telling if you promote nothing for my page. I want to. You know, promote it. You either something for my page. I want to. What you feel like? Easy. Medical Spa Queen. Yeah. I'm bringing you another conversation here because you have a jacket. Bring me in a conversation. What do you mean to bring you in a conversation? And me bring you come here. No, so me bring you in anything. Me bring you come here. Take so you're in it. What do you mean take you? You're in there. How do you feel like? You're in there. Well, like you're the thing about you. Me bring you in another conversation here because sometimes you need to hear from the young adult them. Because she go on like say she inspire nobody. And go on like nobody look up to her. I and go on like say she. look good right now. So you have, where I say you're not top of my life? And that's what I say. Sir, I'm a wife. 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 You know, right. you said never provoke your parents to wrath. Because you don't know who you are dealing with. Eh? You, know. you know who you are dealing with. You know who you are dealing bad with. Bad man from down so. I want to you from the whole of down in one place. I want to you. know what bad people me know. You can't ramp with me. Stop your eyes, you know. Eh? How are you? Tell me if you shut up. I tell you, tell me if you shut up. Give me the phone. Eh? I grab you, I grab my phone. I say give me the phone. Eh? I want to chat to me like, you. hey, Wanar in Jamaica. Wanar. Just want you. Wanar. Wanar. Oh, Wanar. Okay. It's really anyway, my jacket. See, sometimes, as I tell you, say, you have to have strong faith for dealing with a youth. Because sometimes, some of them are on the right path. Some of them need to look straightening out. See, some of them need to look straightening out. So, as a young adult, I have to make talk to me like a young adult. I look a jacket. See, because you don't know enough time, probably me do some things that she don't like it. See, because nobody not perfect. And sometimes she do some things, I mean, I like it. So, my jacket. The little girl said, her mother should have a bash and if she don't want to stand up to responsibility. See? So, what do you feel about, 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 about that conversation? There? Because she said the little girl ungrateful and and the thing. Yeah, you must say so. I saw the video, but I didn't watch it, so I don't really know the full details. But I think that both of them have a point. But I don't know if I want to side with 
any one in particular i feel like the mother is right in the sense that i know parents and people in general tend to look at their circumstances and say you know say somebody i go through worse so whatever we have i must be grateful for it there's a good and bad way to look at it i don't feel like you must use somebody's situation to judge yours because when you do that it kind of develop somewhat an ungrateful spirit in the sense that if somebody else has something and you don't have it you tend to don't appreciate what you have not looking at the fact that there is somebody else who doesn't have something that you have and they would love to have what you want or have what you have so i feel like the mother is really just saying be grateful for what you have you know not because you don't have it or have something that you want because you see somebody else with it means that you shouldn't appreciate what you have and in thinking about that i'm thinking of when we appreciate what it is that we do have we allow abundance to come in our lives right i might not have everything that i want but if i appreciate what i do have i make room for more to come in where the daughter is concerned now she might feel like yes me never asked to come here but you know my day here so you're supposed to take care of me and it just brings me back to the point i was making earlier that sometimes we're gonna want things but we just not gonna have it but we must, must just learn for appreciate what we have you know and i can't imagine that the mother is probably trying her best you know and if she did have it a certain way she would make sure so the daughter have it so sometimes i feel like we must just appreciate what we have you know so that's that's my take on the situation so, just learn to be appreciative and you have you're right with everything we say but you have some parents expect a lot from the children them for them own benefits mm -hmm. like for instance yeah i'm a young jacket but me expect you to do the best for yourself i don't expect you to come do that for me because when you excel me feel good because me know say my daughter have ambition and she up on the right path. Me now go get up and sit down and say, Oh, she forget big now and come take care of me. I remember me saying I go to school from Wapi Kill Fellow. I give her a lunch money. I me buy her, her pampas them. I me buy her feed and I me buy her this. You remember such her, her, her school shoes that are done and I me buy back the school shoes. That is a duty. And we're supposed to do with duty. So what do you have to say about parents that expect them pick me for come mind them you as a young adult what you, what, you, what you have to say about that i don't believe that it should be a child's duty to come and take care of their their parents i believe that um you know when you get older and you can help out your parents you help out your parents but i don't think that it should be your sole duty and responsibility to reverse the roles and come and take care back of your parents i feel like yeah you know a lot of parents them give them all them do everything to take care of them children so when them get older now them feel like okay then it's time for me to take a break and allow you to take care of me i can understand from that perspective but i don't solely agree with the ones that I mean the way you just put it a while ago say you must do it you have to do it you know I don't agree with that at all I feel like if you can help out your parents you help out your parents but it shouldn't be your duty to take care of them that's yeah that's you have to help me yeah of course you have to help I can help me. you help you out but you have to help me I feel like I should it. feel like it's my duty you know, it's your duty it's funny it's funny when I think about it. It's a duty. You have to mind me. Because when you get older, you, know, you are eventually going to have your own family. Definitely. Right? So, I can't be taking care of my family and you. You know what I'm saying? I help you when I can help you. But I feel like it should be my sole duty to take care of you. I feel like, you know, as a, as a parent, you should put certain things in place to take care of your own self. Because anything can happen, you know? and yeah anything can happen so while you're taking care of your children at least try to take care of yourself so 
what you think about the Instagram parents then? Because you have a lot of people can post some nice pictures. Because I know some people think say, well, show me post a picture sometime like you all of that. But all and of that, you know. You know, really, all of that. Right? I'm a post here sometime for me the people to say, yeah, I'm a little jacket and thing. Right? So, I have to give a little post every little now and then and make them know say, yeah, jacket, but yeah, my jacket. We are in Instagram parents. Right? We when I say Instagram parents now, you know, pictures tell a thousand words. People can look on the, from, from pictures and say, oh, I look like a nice father. Or, oh, she look like a nice mother. But after the picture done take, because remember, say a lot of people, it's very photogenic. I call you. You know me not really like you and thing. Um, a... Right? You know me not really like you and thing. But like on me, I I a jacket father now and thing. What what kind of parent you think? Or what kind of father you think I am? You think me I go boot you up? You know if you boot me, me up. Talk the truth. Talk the truth. Talk the truth. That's why the mosquito bite you right there, so. Me not like your style enough. That's why the mosquito bite you right there, so. Cause you just this me a while ago. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how I feel. I feel like it's important to have a relationship with your children. It's not enough to just say, make a buy your shoes, make a buy your bag. You want your ear, make a do your ear. I feel like it's important to have a relationship with your parents, with your children. Because, as you were saying earlier, sometimes they need a friend and they go outside and they seek it. And it's maybe not the best advice. And it should have been something you as a parent should have told them. I think it's important to have a relationship with your children because you should be their main source of support. You know? I mean, no, so and everybody have a good relationship with their parents. And that's fine. I believe in fixing things, in mending things as quickly as I possibly can so if there's some bad vibes I feel like it's important for me to try and resolve it as quickly as possible so we can you know get back to a good place that's my thing but my understanding to everybody different some people hold on to things longer than some but family is very important and people must cherish their family to the day or to marry a gun so if you can fix something we're fixable, you fix it. But if you're family and wine and nothing with you, what you do? At least you know that you're at peace with yourself, that you tried to be at peace with that person. You can't force things. Me don't want to make no fences with you. You can't force it. But you know? it at least you know in your heart, you try to make peace with the person. If the person don't want to be at peace with you, that's totally fine. But at least you know that on your end, you're at peace and you don't have any malice or discontent in your heart. But your malice is enough time. I always try to be at peace with him and the people. No, but I'm at peace with me. There's no peace with me and you. You're lucky. How you feel like? I want you. I peel it at the thing and you done. Just hold your phone. You're just done. Peel it at the thing, boy. And you and another thing. No peace with me and them. I peel it with love and we no love she. And that she have vex about and bad mind about. So me and peel it at the thing. Give me the phone. He mentioned something earlier that it just come back to me for touch pan. That parents must be open, open minded in the sense that, yeah, you know, you two were once children, young adults, you got through things and you probably did wish you could have talked to your parents now. I feel like as parents, what I didn't get before that you would have probably been wanted you should probably give that to your children as well. So if growing up, you wanted your parents to be a listening ear, you can now be a listening ear to your children as a way to break the cycle. So create a room, a space of allowing them to can talk to you, to can run to you with any and everything. You may know say, and everything that I'm gonna tell you about, naturally, but at least create a space curate a space that will help them to come to you when they feel like them back against the wall or them can't run to nobody else or them feel alone and them feel like they're gonna lose it at least them know that so them can run to them parents i feel like parents must look into that 
tell them so tell them what 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 advice me give you as a as a as a teenager turning into an adult that you're still old with you to the day yeah that's i don't like your nice where come smile and talk for me nice jesus christ listen he's a good parent let's give him that and that you give me growing up he's always told me to be vocal talk your mind in a sense say what you feel don't hold up anything inside of you so i grew with whenever me upset about something me always want to talk about it I don't like allowing things to stay in my heart because I can get very angry and when me get angry not lethal you know so when me upset me like to resolve things very quickly because me know say when me upset me don't know what got happen me, me might black out to me hungry so me just say no what all right before it reach a point there let me just talk about what is upsetting me and with talking about it I find that I can release whatever negative feeling I have inside of me so growing up talk your mind so what you feel voice your concern it's something that i've carried with me from childhood into adulthood because i find that the quicker i speak about something that has affected me the quicker i can move past it and get back to a place of peace so yeah it's important me not like see me know say and everybody grow up being told to communicate and talk about your feelings so I know that for some persons, they struggle, adults struggle to even say, you know, say, yes, there's something women are like, and it make me feel away. And then they become passive aggressive. They're obsessed with you, and they're not letting them upset with you, you know. They might get a little attitude, and you know, but, and you don't know what they're feeling. And it's hard because sometimes, as I say, they grow up with not being allowed to simply express what they feel. Because in public, you say, you're too soft or you're a girl or, you know, some, some, something that would deter them from expressing what they're feeling. So, you know, reaching to an, an adult stage and they find it so difficult to even say what they really feel. I feel like as parents, you must encourage your children to say what they feel. Yes, and as we also say, sometimes the truth will hurt and it may not come off in a very pleasant way or the way you may like. And that's fine. The truth should set you free. Because when you speak the truth, you get to a place of understanding where a person is coming from. So when people be honest about them, how they are feeling, you can understand them better. You know, and there should be no more misunderstanding or misconception. And I feel like in parent-child relationship that is important because a lot of parents them don't understand them children not because them just not understand but because them don't create a space for the child to express what they're feeling to communicate what they feel to say no say no I this my feel because the parents shut them out and said you know why I cry for you know why why what <laughs> why you feel that way there they don't allow them to express their feelings and, and show emotion and my father listen man anytime you want ball you know but just send him a crying face <laughs> but just send him a crying face and him just no say a ball she a ball now you know and him say i want me to you want me. he's always receptive and responsive to me when i'm upset or when i'm sad we can't just send him one text we communicate mostly through text because you know no, I, I feel better with texting so whereas him and my brother would have talked on the phone i prefer texting so most of our emotional conversations are through texting and you know my one ball i'm a text him and you know he responds to me and him encourage me and all of that i'm gonna feel okay but had he been a parent who didn't create a space for me to open up to him we probably would have just have everything inside of me i build up and you know overflow like a lot of people are currently doing so it is very important parents children alike to create a space and you know even though we are placing greater care on our parents i feel like children too must also consider their parents you want your parent to create a space for you to open up to them 
but sometimes your parents too are feeling overwhelmed and they too would like to at least share with you what they're feeling you know so I feel like it goes hand in hand it works both ways we are smile for I'm nice I just that do you have anything else you want to say me have always have things to say my always have things to say so dirty people no me is a good parent cause she a jacket and me take care of her then suppose she was my real pitney then if me take care of her jacket so much and she I know my own you hear she say only need to open up on the ears me tell only this long time most of the youths them now prefer to have a texting conversation than a verbal like me and my son we will talk on the phone for hours when he more a vent and he might go through anything at all me and him talk when me go to so my call she she not she just say me I go text you because I know everybody can type fast but you me and I can type fast a little bit and you don't know you may have a little bit of education and she have enough you know say we have a little thing but I'm a jacket and thing and what people not understand you see monetary gifts them things that us after the moment a time where you spend with even relationship some you have to like you have to know your partner just like how you have to know your children same way like how some of man take time out to find out about woman and some of man take time out to find out man take time out to find out about your youth you suppose you can look on your youth facial expression and just know say something around come in we need to talk your youth we are cry out deep inside and you take long to see it until it's too late Zin, so that's why I always tell people say if you're not ready to be a parent leave it alone any man can get a woman pregnant any woman can get pregnant but the responsibility come when the child start grow you have many stages you have the early stage the gerber stage right you have the transformation now when them start that school at three four years old so them have to go color in school now and learn colors so when them pass out of that stage you know when them reach the stage you now where them seven or eight and nine different change again them go through the, the pre-teen stage you now at ten and then after that you now you have the teenager stage thirteen see then you change again when them reach eighteen ago adult now see so a transition you can't want to treat a 18 year old like how you treat a 10 year old you can't do that because anytime you go do that yes it's like you know why you pitney for grow up oh my god my god look for me look at pitney jesus christ that is true you know i see why they must say that something come to my mind you know you know when 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 i was younger i couldn't go outside you know they've never met me go outside which is really fine and understandable but then, you know, when you grow up, them give you a certain freedom to, you know, go out and express yourself. But even then, me, me so used to in the house, me don't want to go outside because I'm already used to being inside. Something came to my mind about allowing your child to express themselves, to walk in their authenticity. I remember when I was at UA. I said, I want to go carnival, right? <laughs> I just want to go carnival. <laughs> I just wanted the experience of going to carnival, right? And so, I said, well, look at the suit and I said, okay, my lady, that's what you're nice. So, I said, okay, this is the cost for the suit. And this is how much for doing my hair. No, I think I did my hair. I did my hair. So, in by the suit, right? But he didn't say to me, you can't go carnival. What did you wear? He allowed me to be myself. And I feel like that is so important because, you know, oftentimes parents, they have an idea of who they think their child should be or who they want their child to be. And growing up, he has always allowed me to be who I want to be. And I feel like that's so important. I feel like that has helped me to be more confident in who I am, not because of you know external factors